Hi tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today, we are delving into a vital topic for anyone managing large properties or farms, remote power solutions. Imagine you have a remote section of your large property with no surveillance and limited internet connectivity. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and remotely power your outdoor fiber switch to enhance security, Wi-Fi accessibility, also powering your IP cameras and wireless access point at the same time. So let's explore how to elevate security and internet access in hard to reach areas. So the scenario today is to enhance security and Wi-Fi accessibility in the remote part of a large property. And the area lacks adequate surveillance and internet. And in expensive areas like this, challenges abound, especially with power access and internet connectivity. So to address this, we have the perfect solution. We're going to install two high-definition IP security camera and a high-range wireless access point on a single pole. And these devices will connect through an outdoor-rated fiber switch, which is remotely powered and capable of providing power over Ethernet to all this device. And this setup will ensure we have surveillance and robust internet, even in the most remote corner of the property. And when it comes to extending security and Wi-Fi coverage, the main hurdles are lack of nearby power sources and the sheer distance that we need to cover. So how do we tackle this? by installing an outdoor-rated fiber switch powered remotely. But our big question is, how do we power this system remotely? Now we have two exciting options, a solar power setup or using armored composite fiber optic cables. Now first up, the solar power setup. By installing an outdoor solar panel linked to a battery storage unit, we can provide uninterrupted power to the switch. And the process is renewable and can function even in a remote area. But cons? Weather variability can affect efficiency. So it is crucial to size your solar panel and the battery system correctly. And now let's talk about armored composite fiber optic cables. Now these cables offer a game-changing advantage by combining high-speed data transmission, which is the two-string fiber optic cable, with power delivery in one rugged package. We have the positive and negative power conductor and also a grounding cable. Now they can send both AC and DC power alongside data, simplifying your installation and enhancing security with their durable design. Plus, they support 10G speeds over long distances, which is ideal for our need. All right, so now we are in front of the demonstration board and the whole setup is behind us. And let's get our components. First, we have a four port industrial grade managed switch with a dim rail mounting tool and a DC 48 volt power supply, one for our managed switch and the other for our composite fiber cable and an outdoor rated fiber switch with a voltage range of 30 to 60 volt, also a surge protector, two bullet cameras, and an outdoor Wi-Fi access point, also a sturdy pole for mounting. Now you should remember, all the devices should be outdoor rated to withstand the element. So without saying, let's begin our setup. So for the first part of our setup, let's take care of the data. We have a router here, I'm going to use an Ethernet cable to connect it to our industrial grade managed switch for data transmission. And then I'm going to use the fiber string from our composite fiber optic cable. Now this is a pre-terminated fiber optic cable, so this can save time by reducing on-site splicing, so you don't have to worry about the connector. And it has two strings, let's use string one. Connect it to our SFP transceiver and slide it into our managed switch. So now the data will come through this switch 
and using our composite fiber optic cable to the outside. And next, let's talk about the power. First, you can see a 48 volts power supply. This one here is to connect with our managed switch to power it up. And then we have another 48 volt power supply. And this one here is going to connect with our composite fiber optic cable. So it's super safe. We have two power supply for each of them. And as you can see, the power cables are connected to the power supply, both positive and negative. And also our grounding cable is connected. Now make sure you ground on both sides to ensure safety. And now let's move on to the outside. In the middle, we only have a single cable run that consists of our power and data. So now let's take it out and see what's inside our surge protector. Now first you can see an air switch. And next to it, we have our surge protector. Now let's turn on our air switch. And our armored composite fiber optic cable is coming in here. And remember, we have both power and data. First, let's talk about our power conductor. Both positive and negative is connected to our air switch. And also, the air switch is already connected to our surge protector. And for our fiber optic cable, it's going to go in here. And I already use a fiber patch cord to connect with it. So you can send data to our outdoor PoE fiber switch. And the power cable will go to this connector and send the power out as well. And we can see our grounding cable is already grounded. Now when you handle power wires, make sure to be careful and also ensure proper grounding to avoid any hazard. So now we can see our fiber patch cord and our power cable is coming out of our surge protector and directly to our outdoor PUE switch. So we can get the power and also the data. Our fiber patch cord is already connected to the SFP transceiver. And now let's slide it into the SFP slot. By using power over Ethernet technology, we only need a single Ethernet cable to send both power and data to our devices. So I'm going to go ahead and connect three Ethernet cable. One for our SS point. This is a PoE WAP, so only a single Ethernet cable is needed. So you can get both power and data. And the rest of our Ethernet cable are going to connect with both bullet camera. We have one and two. So as you can see, our whole setup is done and all our devices are getting power and data through our composite fiber optic cable. And you should position all your cameras and access point high enough for optimal coverage and signal strength. This is crucial for achieving the best performance. And also, securing and waterproofing is essential. And now you are looking at our computer screen. Let's search for our cameras. So we have one, two, and they're connected. Let's view live video. And I'm going to wave my hand to the first and to our second. So you can see this is absolutely a live video. Additionally, setting up VLANs for your cameras and wireless access point can help manage bandwidth. You can also use QoS quality of service setting to prioritize video streams and ensuring smooth performance. So there you have it. With the right tools and setup, now you can ensure security and connectivity even in the most remote part of your property. And thank you very much for joining us. If you found this video helpful, 
please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tech tips. And until next time, stay connected.